According to an interview given and released on April 2, 2023, Vasily Lomachenko, ahead of his March battle against undisputed champion Devin Haney, has stated, in my mind, I'm undefeated. Interesting, because he's lost not once, but twice. Let's talk about this remark. According to an article written by Adam Baskin, once again, for Boxing News 24, Vasily Lomachenko recently gave an interview that states that in his mind he is an undefeated fighter. And his current record of 17 and 2 with 11 KOs is really more like 19 and 0. But how far-fetched is this notion for Vasily Lomachenko, a former champion, former unified champion, to say something so crass? And what does it mean for the fighters who really did defeat him in his career? You have to take a moment and step back and push the privilege aside. We know that this man is from a certain part of the world where his homeland is involved in conflict. But not only is his homeland in conflict, the mental emotions of Lomachenko appear to be in conflict too. Conflict with reality versus what he has created as his own reality. Vasily Lomachenko lost to Orlando Salido in a split decision in a fight where it was his second fight in his professional career. But his second loss came to Teofimo Lopez, which was a unanimous decision loss in which a fight where he blew most of the first six rounds by hardly engaging, hardly throwing punches. But this is what he had to say. Look, in my mind, I didn't lose any fight in professional boxing. That's why I sleep very well. Undefeated, yes. In my mind, yes, said Lomachenko to Fight Hub TV when asked if he thought to himself, how did I lose to Salido? I'm so much better, how did this happen? Strands of Anthony Joshua against Alexander Usyk come to mind. Usyk, ironically, is from the same country as Lomachenko, but doesn't share those same sentiments. He goes on to state, if you understand boxing, you saw a situation with Salido during a fight, how many low blows was. I didn't think I lost on the points, that's why. I said before the same situation with Teofimo Lopez. I didn't feel I lost this fight. He definitely lost the fight against Teofimo Lopez. And the judges scorecards of 116 to 112, 119 to 109, and 117 to 111 speak vehemently on this fact. What a delusional fighter going into his toughest match of his career against a young prime Devin Haney that he would have the audacity to crap on the fighters who defeated him when all he had to do being a guy who was on the losing end is rematch both fighters. Why did Vasily Lomachenko elect not to rematch Orlando Salito? Why did he not have a rematch clause in place to enforce a rematch against Teofimo Lopez, whom he was giving a title shot to, but did not press for a rematch. And even after the fight, 
didn't really sorely pursue a rematch. It speaks volumes about he and the position that Bob Arum and Top Rank have put him in being a fighter out of another country and his complexion was not always under the proper protection. Now he is looking at one of the premier fighters of the sport in present day who is now undisputed, something that Vasily tried to keep him from becoming. Four years ago, Devin Haney, when he was 20 years old, was thinking about taking on Lomachenko. Lomachenko never gave him a second look. But as soon as Haney was going to fight for the number one contention spot against Luke Campbell, Lomachenko decided to fight Campbell. And therefore, that's what made Haney the number one contender immediately. But instead of facing Haney, he asked for franchise position with the WBC and vacated the title. And they awarded Haney the WBC title, not winning it in the ring, but giving him the label of the email champion. Well, Devin Haney has now fought for the titles as he should, as a man who wants to create legacy for himself. But Vasily Lomachenko is a delusional fighter. And in May, his delusions will come to its fruition. But what do you think about this? This is Stormy B-Man. Shout out to the mighty LDBC and Liberated Perspective, the third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Leave some comments and let me know your thoughts about the delusion of Vasily Lomachenko and the fact that he could have fought rematches, but he elected not to. And now he has to face the real champion once and for all. Peace to everyone out there and everyone remains safe.